Hey guys, Amber here. I'm actually recording this one just for uh, Sky Pit HD, who asked me on my Atonement episode 2. Hey there, I like the mod pack a lot, but I cannot install it. Sad face. Can you please tell me how to do that? Most so the first certainly. thing you'll notice is the fact that I don't use the FTB client. I actually use Curse Beta. The reason I do this is because Curse allows you to create your own mod packs and I've been wanting to do that not necessarily for others to play but because there's certain mods out there I've wanted to play with and I wasn't able to before because I didn't really know how to do that with the FTB client. I'm sure others could have told me but this makes it so much easier and I wanted to play with a Lucky Blocks mod so I created my own because I couldn't find one out there that I actually could figure out how to use. So that's why I use Curse, it actually has made life easier. Anyway with that said, what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you do have Minecraft installed on your Curse client so that it recognizes it and you're going to pull up this page. This is a list of all the mods that you have installed. Now to get the atonement mod installed, all you do is you click on the install mod button right here and it will take you over to all the different mods that are available. Now you're going to scroll down the list and you're going to find atonement sins of the past or any other mod pack that you may be interested in adding to play on. You may also uh, wish to do a search for it, which you can and it'll pull it up as well and it'll be the only one that it will pull up. Once you've found it, you're going to click install and it will install it. It will download all the mods that it needs. It will also keep them updated so you're no longer gonna have to go to the different sites for the mods that you might have uh, been using. This will let you know when something's been updated or not. Do keep in mind that if you update one mod, you may break your world and have to start over again. I've had that happen a couple times. Not sure if it's intentional, but it happens. So after it's done all that, it's going to download it. And you will uh, notice when it's done, it lets you know. Downloading 31 of 49 required files, it will install them. And then when it's finished, it will uh, go back to the original screen that it was on. As you'll notice in just a second, this uh, goes back to here where you can install it again because you can have multiple copies of the same game mod in as you see here. This is the one I have been playing on. This is the new one. Once this is on your curse table as it is here, you just click play and it will load it up and you can start playing it. Hope that helped and happy mining.